Alright, so let's talk about the um, homework 1.6, number 2. f of x is given, it's a, it is a rational function, and we want to find the inverse function of that. Alright, let's do that. So just go through four steps. I remember first step. Our first step is uh, replace, y, uh, replace f of x by y. So y is equal to 8x minus 1 all over 2x plus 7. Alright, so number 2, uh, step number 2, uh, we're going to solve for x. So first thing we do is, uh, since I don't like fractions, so I'm going to divide, uh, mu multiply both sides by quantity 2x plus 7. Alright, so let's do that. So y times 2x is going to be uh, 2xy, oops, so 2xy, right, 7 times y is 7y, right, then um, right hand side, since the denominator cancelled out, so you just get the numerator, which is 8x minus 1, right, so next step would be we want to group all the terms with x together so this guy and that guy right so I'll probably move this guy on the other side so by subtracting 8x right so you see that uh, you're gonna get uh, let's see 2xy stays on the left right then you will have uh, uh, 7y, right, which we're going to have to get rid of later, but you have a minus 8x, right, is equal to negative 1. Alright, now uh, 7y doesn't have x in it, so we have to move over to the other side. So by subtracting 7y, we get, uh, so 7y is gone and we get uh, uh, 2xy minus 8x is equal to minus 7y minus 1, right? Alright, then uh, you notice that uh, since we collect all the terms uh, with uh, x in it on the left, we can factor out x. So you have uh, x times 2y minus 8 is equal to negative 7y minus 1, right? Then we can finally divide both sides by quantity 2y minus 8. You get x is isolated, which is what we wanted, then negative 7y minus 1 over uh, 2y minus 8. Right? If you want, uh, on top you have uh, both of them has a negative sign. Maybe we can uh, multiply top and bottom by negative 1 to get uh, positive 7y plus 1. Then negative 8 becomes positive 8 and a positive 2y becomes negative 2y. Alright, so that's the, the step number two. And the step number f uh, three, so step number three is going to be an uh, easy one. So we, whenever you see x, we put y. And uh, whenever I see y, I put uh, x. So 7x plus 1 over uh, 8 minus 2y. Oh, sorry. So y, I'm going to put x. Alright. Then the last step, 4. We replace y by f inverse of x, which is equal to 7x plus 1 over 8 minus 2x. That's the inverse function. So you can put uh, uh, 7x plus 1 all over 8 
minus 2x. Right, that's it. I hope that uh, it was this was clear.